up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is madison hill and yes you already know it's time for another pop off with madison for today's pop off i'm gonna be filling you in on mr justin bieber and mrs Haley bieber because they recently took a trip to paris and met with the french president and let's just say they are being heavily criticized for their attire during this meet and greet on top of that for those of you who missed my mini pop off earlier this week i also want to fill you in on what selena gomez had to say about her past relationships during her recent interview with vogue australia and because you guys know i love to give you that really extra dose of piping hot tea. Remember that story I filled you in on last week about Haley's stylist Maeve Riley allegedly being accused of keeping tabs on Selena Gomez? That way Haley could outshine her. Well, it appears that Haley is sticking by Maeve despite those allegations, and I'm going to show you why I think so. As you can see, we have a lot to talk about, but before I get into it, I did just want to say thank you guys so much for your positive thoughts and prayers for my great aunt and her surgery. Today, she is doing so much better. She's up, she's moved around, she got dressed. So we are having a great day here in New Mexico. Before I got into today's tea, I did just want to tell you guys how grateful I am for all of you and how thankful I am for all of you because I really do appreciate you. And I don't know if you guys feel this, but I definitely do. We really are one big happy family here in the House of Hill. And the last thing I want to say before I get into unwrapping these Bieber and Selena Gomez facts, I know you guys do not like when these two are linked in the same video. I've read the comments, I've heard what you said, but my time is a little crunched this week and I wanted to make sure you guys got the most tea as possible in one single video. So I know you don't like when they're in the same video, but for this week, it works best for me to put them in the same video. I just want to make sure you guys are getting the most celeb tea as possible. All right, now that that disclaimer is out of the way, let's go ahead and get to unwrapping these Bieber and Selena Gomez facts. All right, so first up, let's talk about Mr. Justin and Hailey Bieber. So earlier this week, Justin and Hailey flew to Paris, and while they were there, they ended up meeting with the French president and his wife. Justin Bieber wore a suit and no tie and tennis shoes, while Hailey opted for strappy heels and a cutout dress. Quite the contrast to what the president and his wife were wearing. Justin posted a poor quality photo from the meeting and almost immediately people started commenting on what Justin and Hailey Bieber were wearing. With people saying things like this is what not to wear, people saying they were having trouble with the attire, and unfortunately for Hailey, she got even more negative comments with people saying that her dress was inappropriate for the situation. While we don't know if Hailey picked out this dress or her stylist Maeve Riley, what we do know is that despite those allegations against Maeve Riley last week, Hailey Bieber is sticking by her stylist and friend. For those of you who missed it and need a quick refresher, last week several tips were posted to the Instagram account Dumois accusing Hailey Bieber's friend and stylist Maeve Riley of not only talking poorly about Hailey and saying awful things about Hailey, but also an accusation that Maeve Riley actually used one of Hailey and Selena's mutual friends to gain information about where Selena would be celebrating the release of her album Rare in order to plan a run-in with Hailey where Hailey could outshine Selena Gomez in her moment. Although Dumois never confirmed that these tips were about Maeve Riley, Maeve Riley did go ahead and turn off her Instagram comments last week after these tips were posted. So in my opinion, that tells me everything I need to know. However, despite that drama between Maeve and Selena Gomez, Hailey Bieber made it clear that her loyalty lies with Maeve. You see, recently Hailey wished Maeve a public happy birthday on her Instagram. First, she posted this story where she wrote, I mean, so many trips slash memories around the world with this one. I wouldn't even know where to start. Happy birthday to the woman whose floor I cried on for two hours the first time we ever worked together. Thank you for always holding it down. She then followed it up with this picture and wrote, birthday queen. While Hailey is clear clearly currently happy with her husband and friend. Selena Gomez, on the other hand, had some things to say about her past relationships during her recent interview with Vogue Australia. I mean, it goes without saying that Selena Gomez absolutely slayed the cover and looked absolutely amazing. And when she talked about her past love life, she said, quote, I think most of my experiences and relationships have been cursed. I've been way too young to be exposed to certain things when I was in relationships. Selena then went on to describe the significance of the word rare, which we know is the name of her last album, the name of a single, and of course, the name of her beauty line. Selena said, quote, I guess I needed to find what was that word for me because I felt so less than in past relationships and never really felt equal. Selena continued saying that when one of the writers mentioned the word rare, she realized that's what she wants to feel about herself. Selena went on to say, quote, it wasn't necessarily like, oh, I feel that way, let me sing it. It was almost like, actually, I need to feel that way about myself. All right, you guys already know I have some thoughts about Mr. Justin and Hailey Bieber. And of course, I have some thoughts about Selena Gomez. So let's go ahead and pop off. And if you watch my Chloe and Tristan pop off, you know that I did not bring my shambong, so we are just gonna be having some red wine. That was a terrible idea. Kick it old school. Also, look how cute my Omi's glasses are. It says, in dog wines, I've only had one. <laughs> All 
right, so let's begin this pop off by talking about those Biebers. First, let me say something positive for you Beliebers that like to come to these videos. I actually do think that Hailey Bieber typically has really great day-to-day -day style, and Justin Bieber has always kind of marched to the beat of his own drum when it comes to fashion, and honestly, it works for him. However, having said all of that, whoever thought that tennis shoes and an open button-down shirt and a cutout dress were appropriate to meet a government official needs to be fired. In my opinion, there's just a level of respect that comes with meeting a government official, whether that's here in the United States or abroad, and I just feel like Justin and Hailey Bieber absolutely missed the mark with this one. I'm obviously all for people wearing whatever they want and whatever they feel comfortable in, and I know that Justin and Hailey are young, but they're not that young that that's an excuse to not know what to wear when you're meeting the French president and his wife. Overall, in my opinion, I just felt like those outfits were a little inappropriate and a little disrespectful, and if you disagree with me, that's totally fine. Just please make sure to be respectful down there in the comments. Moving on, let's talk about Hailey's stylist, Maeve Riley. I can't lie, I was a little surprised to see that Hailey publicly stood by Maeve Riley so soon after those allegations on Dumois were made, but then the other half of me really isn't that surprised at all. You guys know the one thing I've never understood about Hailey Bieber is how one moment she can be petty online and then the next moment she can be saying, oh, woe is me. I feel like lately Hailey has really been pushing this oh, woe is me narrative, especially with her YouTube channel when she talks about the negative effects bullying online has on her mental health. And I get where she's coming from with that narrative and I do agree that bullying does have a very negative effect on people's mental health. But at the same time, those birthday posts for Maeve were messy and I don't think she thought people would notice it, but we noticed it. And again, if Haley wants to choose to be petty online, that's totally okay. I just want her to be petty with her whole entire chest. I want her to be out there and be like, I have the man, I have the ring, I have the life I always wanted because this whole back and forth thing is getting really old. Again, that's just in my own personal opinion. And finally, let's talk about Miss Selena Gomez because personally, I feel like the work that she has done on herself is truly unmatched. Obviously, Selena Gomez has had more past relationships than just the one she had with Justin Bieber. But the fact that she can now look back on those relationships and realize that they weren't healthy, they weren't it, that really takes a lot of self-reflection and growth. And on top of those two things, some serious strength. And after hearing Selena Gomez talk about her past relationships in Australia Vogue, I absolutely understand why any relationship she has moving forward, she's going to want to keep it absolutely private and quiet until she's ready to talk about it. We know that Selena Gomez has recently been linked to the artist Demit, but again, those are just rumors. She hasn't said anything either way. And until she either feels sure about that relationship or somebody else, I don't think we're going to hear about it. And ultimately, that's okay. In my opinion, when it comes to Selena Gomez's love life, I think she's going to do her best to avoid any outside noise and outside opinions because she's been there. She's done that. She's got the t-shirt. She's over it. And honestly, I get it. I think at this point, all Selenators just want to see Selena Gomez continue to live her best, happy, healthy life. And that's exactly what she's doing. And on top of that, for those of you who missed it, Selena Gomez did post her cover art for Only Murders in the Building and it looks amazing. Counting down the days until August 31st. Sorry, you guys knew I couldn't go a pop off without mentioning Only Murders in the Building. But now it's time to let me know what you think about this Bieber and Selena Gomez tea. Let out all your thoughts and feels down below. While you're at it, please give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. While you're at it, make sure you give me a follow over on Instagram and TikTok. And of course, don't forget to check out my merch store at houseofhill.com. And on that note, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.